What's going on guys and welcome back to the Honeystead. We have got a little bit of work to do today and since it's going to be another really hot day I figured this is a perfect opportunity to take advantage of the sun and help render down some of our beeswax that are on some of our honey supers that I'm going to be adding back to the girls very soon so that they stay busy and start building up. I probably should have done this a couple months ago but it's okay. We've got time today. My mom and I went and grabbed some of the frames that we have been keeping in storage and we are going to go ahead and scrape all the wax off of it so we can get it ready for them because they're going to need something to do when it comes time to working and keeping them busy and that's what bees do and we like to do this after a couple of years so that it helps keep the comb all nice and clean and fresh and some of these are quite old so figured let's go ahead and uh, attempt to render it down and we're gonna try a new MacGyver like way of rendering beeswax down because well that's what we just do we tend to MacGyver quite a bit so come you gotta be creative you that's... have to be creative <laughs> For the last couple of years, we have slowly been switching out all of our frames from being either foundationless or using the wax foundation with the wire. And I've been holding on to some of our very dark, dark frames. These are probably one of our original frames. That might be a magnolia. That might, this might have been, this might have been one of the, one of the magnolias. I'm starting to scrape off all of the propolis that is gathered on the sides and this is our jar of propolis so far we are due to set up another tincture so this might be on another video later on but i'm just showing you that we are saving it now my good friend alex from blue ridge glassworks i share quite often on instagram some of her stained glass pieces which are absolutely phenomenal um, she has done many stained glass pieces for us that have been very much bee and garden and herbal inspired and i will show you the one that i surprised my mama with mm -hmm. back when we got the apothecary we were pretty much setting up we were like in there right that was like that was like the first that was yeah like we were... the first day yep I don't know I can't remember but that video I'll put that somewhere very special it was very special so I messaged Alex because we've given her a lot of our old frames with this dark beautiful black honeycomb that I'm not going to use for the bees and instead of just rendering it down as wax I want her to have it so that she can turn it into art. So, and a lot of you have already purchased many of her stained glass. I will ask her that if any of you guys are interested in purchasing some of her beautiful stained glass artwork that has any of the wax um, honeycomb in her art, just to share that those, that wax, that all comes from, from Arby's. She's gonna be getting a good bit of these frames and uh, I'll make sure to put her information down below. So if any one of you are interested, um, that's just a little bit of, of our hearts here on the Honeystead. And what better way to be able to reuse something that is such a beautiful structure and turn it into art.
we were able to scrape a small jar full of propolis and I will definitely tag you guys in this video when we go ahead and start tincturing it. But for right now, let me show you all the wax that we were able to scrape off. We've got a makeshift, I don't know what we're gonna, what are we gonna call this tote? Um, a wax tote? Yeah, the wax melter tote. Wax melter tote. MacGyver, MacGyver wax melter tote. And it, it kind of works. I'm gonna go take it and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with it. So, come on. Don't tell my husband that I'm using the wood kiln, the solar kiln to render down beeswax, but it's genius. I just think it's a really awesome idea. So, it gets pretty toasty in here. So I figured this would be an awesome opportunity to use the solar kiln render down some beeswax and then take you guys along with us on the science experiment because isn't that yeah, life? You never know, right? So it definitely gets a little bit toasty in here and so I went ahead and set up the makeshift MacGyver tote with the wax all in here and then it's going to take probably a couple of days and I'll come back and I want to keep checking on this. This solar kiln that we use is specifically for our wood, um, for kiln drying some of the wood, but I think it will work. So what I did is I took a tote that we had laying around, I cut a hole in it. Actually I attempted to cut a hole in it and realized that my X-Acto knife was not doing very well so I took my little torch and I burnt a big hole in it. I have some unbleached cheesecloth that I did double layers. Um, and then I did some aluminum foil on the bottom. Now I'm thinking the aluminum foil is gonna be really good because it's gonna help uh, when it comes to taking that wax that's been rendered down out of it. I, I hope this works. I think this will work. Now I've done wax rendering videos before where I've actually taken and rendered it down in old pressure cookers that we've had that you can get at yard sale or friends give it to you, but I think this might work. I really do. I wish, I wish there was a way, and it's gonna take a little while, but yeah, what I might do is come back and put some aluminum foil on top, possibly, that might help. So yeah, so I'll let you guys know. This might be fun. We'll keep you guys posted and let you know how this turns out. It might take a couple of days, but um, I think it's a good idea. So why not give it a shot? Thank you guys for watching and as always don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old bye guys <laughs>